beautiful. Hey guys, so we are back to the second part of Señorita Colombia 2019. So we are here with Miss Guanita. She is actually a new contestant in this pageant. Guania, that is like somewhere down the southern part of Colombia. What do you think about her? I don't like her dress. It looks like she got enough Charlotte Russe. Ooh. Char Not Charlotte Russe. <laughs> I mean, she got it off like Junction Boulevard. For people that don't know what Junction Boulevard is in New York City, it's like... It's like a San Andresito. And the reason why it's a joke is because you can see how like the dress was not custom made the right way. Right. And I know fashion designer would agree. This, however, is very elegant, very beautiful. Wow. It fits her body really nice. It's amazing. Too extra. I definitely feel like it's one of my favorite dresses right now. Wow, and the detail of the neckline. Is, Guajira. There's a Guajira in Colombia? Yeah, Guajira is by uh, the northern part. The northern part of Colombia where it meets with Venezuela. She looks very, very exotic, very universal. She is ready for Miss Universe if she makes it. I'm very surprised that most of the... Most of these uh, contestants are having... Updos. Usually in Miss Colombia, they have a lot of down and loose curls in their hairstyles. But I'm liking this elegant look. All right, Senorita William. So I think you should fire your hairstylist. Yeah, what is going on? And I feel like her dress looks like it was 2009. Something that you'll wear in 2009. No, the dress is like, first of all, the half smile is not cute. Um, oh my god, her hair. Who did this to you, bro? She's beautiful. I feel I would have put hair extensions on her. I don't like that dress. It looks like you're going to the Colombian prom. Um, I think she just needed a little bit more of preparation. Um, she looks nervous. Like, if you're gonna be Miss Columbia, just know that you are... Why is she hunching? ...going to be... She has a lazy eye. <gasps> the lazy eye is okay. That's different. Wow. Wow, Magdalena. She's such a beautiful woman. I love, one thing I like about Colombia is the mixture of people, of the mixture and the, the racial difference that we have between, the, the sorry, the, the mix of races makes the country really pretty. Like for example, you could tell that she has a lot of indigenous features with a bit of European, which makes her look very elegant and exotic at the same time. Which is something very universal. Um, it does good in its universe. I, however, think that the dress is a little bit too sexy. Oh, wow, her butt. Wow, I would not expect her to pose like that. Um, What do you think about that pose? Very unexpected. From an American standpoint, she looked like a bar girl. That yeah, that was not like a yeah, dance like a beauty queen yeah. should do. Time and place. Oh, wow. All right, that's a really nice dress. And a really nice hair hairstyle. That's like something that someone should wear to a gala. 
Or actually, yeah. Yeah, it's very actually, exotic. Yeah, She's on point. She, yeah. Senorita Meta, uh, Meta really doesn't do good in the national contest, but I think this candidate is actually trying her best. Very exotic, very universal. She's ready for, she doesn't see. The makeup on the eyebrows is a bit too much, but she looks good. Uh, sometimes it's hard when you have a makeup artist that really doesn't know your face to get it all right. Oh, I don't like when they do that. Here, but it's okay. They have over a year of preparation because this is not for the December pageant. This is for Miss, Cal Miss Universe 2019. Wow, she's beautiful. Oh, what just happened? What just happened? Brought Gabriel messed up. Okay, there it goes. Nariño. What do you think about Nariño? That's where my family's from. Well, some of them. That's where Pasto is. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. Wow. Very exotic. Um, actually, the dress is jaw dropping. Not a lot of gold dress. A lot of gold dresses this year, and she is making that dress pop. She looks like the road to El Dorado. Ooh, I don't know if I like that pose. It reminds me of amateur. Um, something that you'll do like, you know, for a high school prom or something. But it's okay. She is learning. Ah, oh, why did you wave? Wow, very Colombian. Great. Ah. Oh. So this purple dress reminds me a lot of what Laura Gonzalez, the one that won last year, wore. It's exactly the same. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Some people might think it's... It, no, that's similar. Like the, the woman last year wore that dress. So I bet everyone is comparing her to her to Lara Gonzalez, which is not a good thing. You don't want to be compared. You want to be original, especially if you want to be Miss Colombia. Miss Colombia is known for originality, for sultriness, for being that girl, not just copying. Sorry, even though she looks great, I just feel like it's a repeat of something that we just saw. Especially if it's gonna be something so bold, you should try to make it a little bit different. Uh oh, Quindio. Um, Quindio. I have no idea what to think of this of of her overall look. I just see the contrast of her bronzingness with the highlight, and I know that is in style, but I feel like they did not blend right. Um, her hair looks like like a messy bun. She looks like she's going to a wedding. Like she's a bridesmaid, right? Yeah, that's a bridesmaid. Yeah, I don't think Miss Columbia. Miss Columbia has evolved a lot, and she, 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 she's in the wrong event. Oh, she's so cute. Who is this? Wow, Rizal Alda. Rizaralda. Very sexy. She's tall. I love the long black hair 
with her skin color makes her look very exotic and very international. Her makeup is a little bit too strong in the eyes. Makes it look... Well, let's see. But the overall look is great. Her, her porte is great. Her body shape. I'm digging it. Oh, look, your favorite, your favorite one. San Andreas. Wow. All right, let's see. I love her her hairstyle. Um, her dress. It's different. She is very, very well put together. She has a great body shape. Let's see, let's see the last pose. Oh, great, she's really cute. I think she's gonna make it to the top 10. Great, very pretty. Oh, I feel like she, she looks very similar to Bolivar. Wow. Reds this year have been... Have been making a statement. I haven't seen a lot of red dresses in the Miss Columbia pageants for a while now. Oh, she stumbled, but it's okay. She still looks good. She's very exotic looking. Okay. Wow. Oh, she stumbled again. That was not good. I guess if it's one time, it's fine. But two times... Not really. Very exotic. She can't walk in that dress. She should have really practiced. If she walked a little better, I think she could have been top three. Oh, Nariño, right? Is that Nariño? No, it can't be. Tolima. Okay, Tolima. She has a, let's see. I don't know what to think about her yet. Okay, I like her walk. She's actually doing something. She's making it look, she's working the dress. I feel like this dress is a little bit similar to, what's her name? Uh, Miss Columbia 2000 and 16, Adria Tovar, but with a different color, which is great. Oh, wow, I love that. It looks good. <gasps> Vaje, she's like the favorite one to win. But let's see. What do you think about this one? Vaje, you haven't seen her. Wow. What do you think about her? Do you think she's like the prettiest one? Yeah. Out of all the girls? No. I think Bogotá is. Do you think she'll be Miss Colombia? 
Everyone's saying. So everyone is saying that she's gonna win Miss Columbia. Huh? Yeah. I like her, but I feel like the one this year kind of looks similar to her, and I think we need to start bringing a little bit more of diversity to the Miss Columbia pageant, so we could. So we could like make it. All right, guys. So that is part two. Bye bye.